Welcome to your new Digital Practice and Procedure Manual, or PPM for short. There are lots of hints, tips and tools to allow you to easily use a new PPM. This video will walk you through all the available functionality so you can discover which tools suit your needs and learning style the best. You can download the PPM onto a range of devices. This video shows you how to get the most out of using the PPM on an Android mobile device. Other videos are available for laptop and desktop, MacBook, iPhones and iPads. The PDF reader that most Android phones use as default has limited functionality. So we recommend that you download the free Adobe Acrobat PDF reader from the Google Play Store. The PPM can be downloaded straight from the CHS website onto your Android mobile. Click the link to download the PPM and select Download. Once complete, select to open with Adobe Acrobat and select Always. In future, you can use the PPM online or offline directly via the Adobe Acrobat app. The new Practice and Procedure Manual is in two parts. There are two contents pages. Part one is at the start of the manual. Part two's contents start midway through. Everything on the contents page is a clickable link to the chapter or section of the manual. For example, if you want to remind yourself of the test for excusing a child, select here. This section provides a quick guide overview, so if you want more information, there are also links throughout the manual highlighted in blue. Clicking on this link will take you to the full section on attendance. There are also external links throughout the document, which will take you to the relevant web page or legislation. The internal links don't need any internet connection, but the external links will only work when you're connected to the internet. Wherever you are in the document, the footer at the bottom of each page will show you which chapter you are in, what page number you are on, and the black arrow will take you to the contents page of part 1 or part 2, whichever you are in. You may have noticed that each chapter heading is a different colour and has a different icon. This colour is throughout each chapter and should help you to orientate where you are in the manual. Each of the icons are logo representations of the chapter content. For those of you who are more visual learners, you will quickly get to know that all the legal tests and quotes from the legislation are in purple with the Scales of Justice icon. Similarly, the types of hearings and options available to the hearing are associated with this bright blue colour and icon. There is also a handy key at the bottom of both contents pages outlining these from the outset of the manual. More than just being colourful visual aids, the headers along the top of each page are clickable and allow you to move quickly through the manual. For example, moving directly from the legal tests chapter to the hearings and options, and then to the end of the hearing. You can move quickly between parts one and two from each contents page by clicking this button. Adobe Reader allows you to look at several pages of a document at once, which is useful if you're looking for a certain flowchart or section quickly. There is also a bookmarks and content section to help you navigate the manual. For example, the managing complex hearings chapter or, more specifically, the excluding relevant persons section. In Adobe Reader on Android, you can bookmark your own pages and quickly access your own bookmarks at any time. At the very end of the manual is an index and, like the contents pages, everything here is a clickable link to the relevant section. The PPM also allows you to search the manual. The search function works best if you're looking for something specific, such as what to do if a journalist turns up at a hearing. If your search is too general, such as Safeguarder, there may be dozens of search results. In that case, the index might be a better tool. We hope that this quick guide has been useful. If you have any questions about the functionality or contents of the PPM, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at practiceandpolicy at chs.gsi.gov.uk.